Development assessment. Sounds a bit scary, right? But it doesn't have to be. In fact, this process helps make sure that new developments fit in and make our city an even better place to live. At the heart of it, development assessment is about the planning scheme. This is the book of rules that guides land use and development in Queensland. The planning scheme tells you, one, if you need a development application, two, if you need to get feedback from the community, and three, what the development requires to be approved. When you lodge a development application with us, it's given to our town planners and engineers to assess. They make sure the proposal meets the requirements of the planning scheme and that it fits in with the neighbourhood. Sometimes community consultation is required and this feedback is included in the assessment. In other instances, we may also ask the developer to pay infrastructure charges. These charges help council manage the increased load on the networks from the development. And sometimes if native trees are cleared, developers will provide an environmental offset. This money is used to plant trees elsewhere in Logan. The development assessment process is about making sure when development happens, it contributes positively to our city and our community. If a developer does not agree with a decision about their application, they can appeal it. Other people who have submitted their concerns during the public consultation phase can appeal a decision too. There are many ways you can access information about development happening in Logan. If you want to know more about how things work, visit the Logan City Council website.